Let's go over the trust lab, part one. In your notebook, you have to record all our labs, so it should have the title, your name, and your date. You have to have a diagram of the apparatus, not just the force vector diagram. We have here the door, the spring scale, the string, the binder clip, the weight, the meter stick, the block of wood, and the clamps. I'll throw in a few labels. We have the binder clip. All of the forces are acting through the binder clip. Does the binder clip move? No. So all these forces acting on the binder clip have to add up to zero. Time for a free body diagram. The body we're talking about is the binder clip. It doesn't move. What's the most obvious force acting on that binder clip? The weight of your object. What's another force that's obvious that's acting on it? The force of the scale pulling through the string. Well, if these two forces are acting on that binder clip, that binder clip is going to have a tendency to move toward the left. So that means the meter stick must push to the right. But how do we know that that meter stick is only pushing to the right? Could it possibly be holding up any weight at the end? We should point out that this end of the meter stick is free to move about a pivot. If the left end of the meter stick was held rigidly like my hand is, then it could hold up weight on the end. But it's not being held rigidly. It's on a pivot. It's just going to swing down. That means this binder clip cannot be held up by the force of the meter stick. The meter stick can only push to the right. So what does hold up this weight? We can break up this vector into two components. The y component must be holding up the weight. It's the only component that's going vertically. So that 1.8 newtons is going to be held up by the y component. And our job is to go find the force of the spring scale. And we get 2.80 newtons. And that would be the theoretical value. Now we can go look at the spring scale and get the experimental value. I'd get about 3.3 newtons. Now we went through everybody's data in class and found out that all of these theoretical values were coming in lower than the experimental. Well, that's called systematic error. If it was just random error, human error, you would expect to have some high, some low, but no, they were all coming in low. And we asked, what the heck was going on here? And somebody said, we didn't include the weight of the meter stick. The weight of the meter stick isn't much, but it makes a bit of a difference. Before the lab started, I said for everyone to weigh the meter stick. And everybody has the same meter stick, they weighed 0.5 newtons. Now, does that block do anything to the meter stick? I think you can picture the meter stick pivoting up against the door, but it's the block that's holding up the meter stick. How much of the meter stick does it hold up? Well, if I gave you a meter stick and held one end and I held the other end, we'd each be holding up half. So this holds up one half, and the string has to hold up the other half. All we're going to do and say that the meter stick has a weight going down on this side of 0.25 newtons, and we're gonna add it to the weight of the object. So we have 2.05 newtons hanging down. That changes the y component of the string. 